Little Egypt in the U.S. is the topic of my discussion. I was interested in learning about where this reputation came from uh, about belly dance in the U.S. So I started really with ward and with carlton looking for little egypt because i also was looking for little egypt and uh, found very many of them but no original just like uh, carlton so starting with these images and, and working backwards the very popular images from the souvenir books of the world's columbian we've got three of them here and one of them could be farida mazar and amina on the right, we have the ship manifest. So Farida Mazar's name is 144 here. Amina in the previous image is 148. So we do know that these women did come over for the 1893 fair and documented in various photographs and Franklin, uh, Frank Leslie's Illustrated Weekly with an illustration by Benjamin West Clinidinst animating the dancer. And why was this so surprising? This is the Cairo Dance Hall from Ward's book in about 1900. So it hadn't really changed and that was imported to the World's Columbian. This is the fairgrounds, the street in Cairo exhibition is up here in between the German village and the Ferris wheel and the other uh, Al Algerian, Tunisian, Moorish and Turkish villages. And so the Midway Plaisance was right here. This was the popular entertainment area and this was all the regular exhibition spaces. And of course these dancers appeared everywhere. Um, so in that same issue of Frank Leslie's was this. So the, there's two reasons why the world's Colombian sticks in people's minds as why uh, that was the beginning of belly dance in the US even though it wasn't. Uh, notice the costume so the dress of our upper middle class uh, woman is miss condit smith he covered head to toe corseted and then you have the very loose loose uh, garments of the woman dancing here with her forearms uncovered and then that thin shirt uh, that is exposing her uncorseted uh, belly. So that was uh, a big issue. And the fact that she, she, then she moved her, her torso was also problematic. So that just got picked up and people ran with it. There were dancers earlier on. Uh, let's see. Oh, for fun, I put in uh, Bertha Palmer's gown that she wore uh, at the World's Columbian Exposition. She was the head of the Board of Lady Managers and, and was a, a force behind fine arts at the fair. And, and tried to get the street in Cairo shut down. So, but the dancers were around well before 1893 in the form of these images, uh, such as these paintings by Jerome, which were made as prints and circulated and the paintings were purchased by Americans. In this case, uh, if you read Ainsley Hawthorne's article, this, uh, is the start of the term belly dance, the danse du ventre, uh, that was written by a critic, a salon, Paris salon critic about this dance of the Almay by Jerome. And there are images, illustrations in books such as this from 1850 going even farther back that would have probably inspired Jerome as well. And then there are other images, well, there are Almays here at the, uh, in the famous, uh, lithographer uh, Jules Charest at the Folie Bergère picked up by American artists. So this uh, H. Humphrey Moore uh, studied with Jerome in Paris and then brought the Jerome style of painting back to the US. The painting in the back there was destroyed actually. So it's no longer with us. Uh, and I brought this image of, of Vanderbilt's bedroom with the two sculptures by a well-known French sculptor, Antonin Mercier, after the well-known paintings of the dancers by Jerome. So those were sitting on his mantelpiece for 10 years before the world's Colombian. And, uh, and then there would have been copies and things of those sold around too. So these images circulated all over. So paving the way for, for the dancers to arrive. 
Okay, then let's go after these are other images. Let's head to the well, this is still before the world's Colombian Omina with the cigarette cards, and she was also well known causing scandals and things such as that. Uh, so these are teeny tiny cigarette cards at the Metropolitan. You see the size of that uh, that tiny card. Those are all Omina in there. And there, there's some more of those images then afterwards. So there's a lot happening afterwards since that was such a big moneymaker. Then you have imitators and more scandals and more newspaper stories, more uncorseted women dancing, uh, copying to ver with varying degrees of authenticity, the dances that they saw at the World's Columbian. Here's one, a little Egypt at Coney Island. There were little Egypts and Fatimas at uh, subsequent fairs. A cigarette card of uh, Ashea Wabe, as well as the Hoochie Coochie playing card with a uh, little Egypt. Other little Egypts I haven't identified yet. That's a Fatima. Uh, this is a ad for fertilizer, interestingly. More cigarette cards and then performers, Gilda Gray, another little Egypt, I have no idea who it is, uh, Samia Gamal, finally uh, an Egyptian belly dancer arrives in the US and is caught up in that um, reputation. And which was examined by this contemporary artist, Nahed Mansour. And I uh, end with her installation and all these different aspects that she uh, explored visually. Thank you.